Well, when it comes to this extreme heat, it's important to keep our furry friends in mind, too. For tips on how to keep your pet cool and comfortable this summer, here's the Nebraska Humane Society's Pam Weiss. We're not sure why they call these the dog days of summer because most dogs I know can't handle this heat. Now, we all know the basics. No dogs in closed cars and that dogs need ventilated shade and cool water most of the time. But we've got some other tips to keep your canines and kitties comfy. Did you know that dogs and cats can get sunburned? Pets with pink skin and white hair are especially susceptible, as are noses, ears, and areas that don't have much hair. Check with your veterinarian for a non-irritating zinc oxide type sunblock that you can apply 20 minutes before he or she goes outside, even if it's just a potty. Did you know that cats exhibit the same heat stress symptoms as dogs? Panting that lasts more than a few minutes, pacing, increased heart rate, respiratory distress, lethargy. Oddly enough, cats affected by heat will oftentimes drink less than they should drink. Add a few ice cubes to his water bowl or dab a little water on the corner of his mouth. It can be enticing to take your pet to outdoor summer festivals and concerts, but for his sake, make sure you're going to a place where there will be shade and grass. Limit your time there, or better yet, don't take him. When walking, avoid sunshine when it's hottest outside, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., or even wait until the sun goes down. Don't go for more than 20 minutes total. Take rest breaks and take water. Remember that snub-nosed dogs like Pugs, Pekingese, Boston Terriers, and Bulldogs have more labored breathing. They have an even harder time panting to stay cool, so go easy on these guys. And when walking, test the surface. Blacktop, sand, and sidewalks, even decks, can blister your pet's pads. A good rule of thumb is if it's too hot for your bare feet, it's too hot for them. Many dogs appreciate the summer poolside. Just make sure that if you do have a wading pool in your backyard, you keep it clean and try to empty it every week or so so you don't end up with a mosquito breathing ground. Right, Darcy? <laughs> For the Nebraska Humane Society, I'm Pam Weiss.